What's up guys? Welcome back to Horsepower and Pizza. It has been so long since I have filmed a video. Today, we are going to Kentucky. As you can already tell by the title of the video, we are buying another car. I'm not. Joe is. Hi guys. If you listen to the podcast, I don't. you haven't been on a video before, have you? I have not. No. First time. Joe is on our podcast from time to time. He's actually moving. He took a job across the country. Gonna go buy a 135 in Kentucky and we're gonna mob home and have a good time, make a good video. Got the new pizza hoodie on here. These sold out before I could even promote them on a video. So we're actually trying to do a different run, second run of them, different colors. Pre-order is live on the website now until Friday, March 8th. So if you want one, you need to order it now. If I don't get enough orders, everybody's getting their money back and we're gonna move on to a different design. This one won't come back. It's got like the pizza box logo in silver on the front. This hoodie's maroon. It's really dark in here, but um, shed some light on this. This is maroon, but we're doing vintage blue heather and mint on the next ones. The podcast is also slowly but surely coming to Spotify and iTunes. Let's get going to Kentucky. I'm a little bit geographically challenged and didn't pick up on the fact that we have to drive the entire way through Ohio to get to Kentucky. I'm not very happy about it. Bailey doesn't like Ohio. Oh well, I'm getting a sick car out of this. Joe found the best spec 135 possible, so I'm gonna let him tell you about it because it's not my car. All right, so the car is a 2012, so it's a facelifted uh, 135i. It's in crimson red. Uh, the interior is the black. It has the M Sport package, the M Sport suspension package, um, premium package, comfort access, um, and just about in navigation as well. What transmission's in it? Um, six speed, so it's also a manual. With him moving to the Pacific Northwest, and anybody that's been out there knows that some of the back roads and like some of the best driving roads in the country, in my opinion, are out there in the mountains. And where he's moving, he's going to be an hour from mountains, an hour from the beach, an hour from the desert. Like it's, I don't know exactly where he's moving in Oregon, but it's going to be great. And he's trying to build this as like a back roads car, which is my favorite form of driving. Really excited to get out there once he does move out there and see what he has done with the car. And we'll have updates. Really excited to see the plans that he has for it. He had never been in an N55 car until he got in the car with me today. And he's like, well, what do you think? Boy, I like it, this thing's fast. We crossed into Kentucky like an hour ago at this point. We're a half hour south of Cincinnati, we're in Kentucky. Somewhere. I'm tired, like it's starting to catch up to me. We're making good time, I feel like. It really doesn't feel like we've been in the car for four, four and a half hours at this point. It's still like 45 minutes or an hour out, I think. Yep. Still really excited for Joe. Uh, we're doing great here, I'm happy, excited. Kentucky is a wonderful place. We're at like a sketchy rest stop right now. Like there's this, love, baby. there's this barbecue place behind us. I don't, I feel like there's lot they lizards in there. Yeah, they got showers. It's kind of shady. We out here living. Joe has no idea the wormhole that he opened with getting this car because I am going to ruin his entire financial stability. I put on my sunglasses so you don't see the bags under my eye. Still a piece of the garbage. <laughs> or I'm leaving the camera in the car, not bringing it with because sometimes dealers get weird about that. So when we test drive it and everything, I'll go with and I'll film on my phone from there. But. about six hours not too bad it's finally nice in Pennsylvania it's like 50 today so we figured take his car out just come down and pick it up you guys going back today yeah we came back from the test drive salesman is finishing up with another client what do you think I like it I didn't drive it we just got back like I said and we're going through everything checking over everything making sure everything is good we did find they have the original window sticker in the car with all of the options and everything. They have both of them actually. This dude's name is Wood Bus. The guy, the, the guy that owned the car before it. Overall, I think it's a very clean car. You're trying it's to call got, Wood Bus? 
45,000 miles on it. It's got your six speed transmission. I drive. I would buy it. If Joe was not going to, I was honestly thinking about trading the 435 in on it. It's this car is very well specced, very clean. I think he's gonna do it. I think he should do it. You're gonna do it? Yeah. We're gonna do it. We're gonna send it. We're gonna be Bimmer boys. Bimmer boys. Yeah. We ready. Check everything, make sure there's nothing fucking broken. I already did. <laughs> you have no idea how anal I am when I buy a car. We don't know where we're gonna go for lunch. I wanna do a pizza review, but I'm also, I'm not getting pizza. I kind of want to do Hooters. I got a th weird thing like every time we go get BMWs or like we came back from Bimmerfest when it was still in Maryland a couple years ago. We didn't have anywhere to go. We don't have a Hooters. There used to be a Hooters in Pittsburgh. I love getting pictures of my cars in front of Hooters. I don't know. I have, I'm weird like that. So if we go to Hooters, you'll find out if you follow on Instagram at Horsepower Pizza. What'd you just do? 4K no less dose. Dad, we bought it. I'm so proud of you. Come here and hold this camera for me. We got a Chris in it. We filming? We live, Dad? We should be. Chris in this. Done. Sold. Welcome to the family, buddy. Thank you. We made it. I screwed Joe on the highway and uh, he ended up having to already do Bimmer Boy things and cut off traffic. Gonna get lunch real quick and then uh, maybe hit some scenic shit on the way home so I can fly the drone, get some good shots. Have a lot of content coming for Instagram, YouTube, everything. I do like you have the shadow line trim. I didn't notice that earlier. That's why I was gonna get the black uh, kidneys and everything will match. He is so happy and I'm so happy for him. It's so great because I've never had a friend that had like a comparable car to mine. Like we could talk about the same things and buy the same parts and stuff. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Just got done with lunch at Hooters. We're gonna head back to PA. It's like another six hours home. So it's gonna be a long one, but so worth it in the long run. I was saying this to Joe earlier, and it might sound a little bit corny to say, but I live for this shit, like road tripping with friends. It was such a simple gesture. Joe said, hey, do you want to go with me to get this car? Absolutely. Like, I will do that 100% of the time as long as I'm available. Like, I live to go do car things with my friends, and like, he called me yesterday. He's like, hey man, like, you're still ready to go. He was all excited. He told me all the parts and everything that he has in his cart online, but he wanted to make sure that he got the car before he placed the order. This shit is awesome. It sounds corny, but like, I'm sure some of you watching can relate. Like, you just like to do car shit with your friends, and it doesn't matter what you're doing. You just like the friendship, like company, and it's just, there's no better feeling. And this is the first car that I've owned that like every time I get in it, I get the same feeling. It's a sharp looking car. It looks so good rolling. Thank you. Still in Kentucky, almost to Cincinnati. And I keep seeing a river that runs along the right side of the highway, as well as railroad tracks. And I was like, damn, this is gonna make for some great drone shots. We're in some sketchy We're ass. East of yeah, we, we are east of bumfuck. That is about right. The best way I can describe it is if the E46 and the E92 had a baby. We are finally almost back to PA. What do we got here? Timmy Hose. We had to stop for Timmy Hose. I needed to stretch my legs. All of our friends want to go out for drinks after this. Joe and I are like, fuck that. We're going home and going to bed. It didn't blow up yet, so I'm happy. <laughs> I got the, my heated seat on, I got the air conditioning on, the auto climate control. I, I have the same thing. Everything it's... works great. I'm just surprised. You know, I'm just like, this, this is a scam. <laughs> This is what not a scam. I'm honestly kind of pissed that Joe bought it because I wanted it so bad. We are getting Tim Hortons and then the last time you will hear from me is when we get back to my house.
When I got home, I was so tired, I went inside and went to bed. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Follow over on Instagram for more content at Horsepower Pizza. If you want to support the channel, you can head down to the links below, horsepowerandpizza.com. I have merch, I have stickers, whatever. If not, that's great too. I appreciate you watching. Peace out. Build it for you.